Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 20 maart 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. Today's bulletin is in English. We will start today with the propagation bulletin of the RSGB and after that we have several news items. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News for Sunday. The 3rd of April 2016, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. Now the propagation report compiled by Golf 0 Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha and Golf 4 Delta Delta Kilo on Friday the 1st of April. This past week saw continued low to medium geomagnetic disturbances thanks to ongoing solar coronal holes. A geomagnetic storm watch has been issued for the 2nd of April due to a disturbed interplanetary magnetic field coupled with elevated solar winds from a coronal hole high-speed stream. Now, this could see the K-index climb again to 5 or 6. Periods of further but less potent geomagnetic storming are forecast for the rest of next week. At the time of writing, there was just one solitary sunspot which is stable and non-threatening. The overall trend of declining sunspot and flare activity will gradually continue as we slowly make our way towards the next solar minimum around the end of the decade. Next week, NOAA predicts the solar flux index will be in the mid-80s and well, as we're now into April, you should be using a smooth sunspot number of 39 for your VOA cap base prediction programs. April remains a good month for north to south paths, such as the UK to South Africa, for example. And we also have the continuing de-expeditions of Victor Kilo Zero Echo Kilo on Heard Island. And don't forget Foxtrot Tango 4 Juliet Alpha on Juan de Nova Island near Madagascar. The optimum bands to work Foxtrot Tango 4 Juliet Alpha are likely to be 17 or 15 metres, with occasional openings up to 10 metres if the K index remains low. And now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, you know what? It seems like we're stuck in this slightly unsettled April showersy type story for another week, with any high pressure displaced to the east and well away to the southwest of the British Isles. So, what does that leave for VHF and UHF operators? Well, from a tropo perspective, not a lot really, but we could again see some rain scatter options on the microwave bands from the large April shower cumulo nimbus clouds. Lastly, it's worth another heads up for the 2016 sporadic E season, which should be showing its hand on 10 metres during late April. Dust down those frequency lists and check the beacon portion of the band and give it a try. The 28 MHz beacons are listed from page 135 to 140 of the 2016 RSGB yearbook, and with more than 100 beacons per page, you'll be pretty sport for choice. There's also the prospect of some trans-equatorial propagation activity at this time of year, making the 10 metre band a well-worth band keeping an eye on and an ear on during April. There's no major meteor showers this week, and in the run-up to the Lyrids, which are due 16th to 22nd of April, there may be a small increase in random meteors towards the end of next week. The moon will be close to the sun in the sky on the 7th, so EME degradation will be high due to sun noise. Additional path losses due to the moon's perigee will be low for a few days either side of this. And that's it for this week from the Propagation Team. Representatives of the Society met with Ofcom last month. Further details are on the Notices section of the RSGB website. Subjects discussed included how the Society and Ofcom could work more effectively to tackle reports of EMC, implementation of the WRC15 agreements to harmonise the spectrum allocation at 5 MHz, and progress with licence revalidation. Ofcom reported that due to the commissioning of a new IT system, there would be a pause in the revalidation process until later this spring. 
The ARRL Awards Committee has voted to delete Kingman Reef, Kilo Hotel 5 Kilo, from the DXCC list, effective from the 29th of March 2016. On a roll status will now be attainable after confirming 330 entities on the DXCC list and the total number of entities on the list will drop from 340 to 339. The findings of the amateur radio survey that was undertaken at the end of last year have now been analysed. An initial summary will appear in the June edition of RADCOM and a presentation of the key findings will be made available to affiliated clubs later in the year.